when we meditate, we're taking the good features of the mind and we're trying to develop them so they're stronger, the good qualities of the mind, like mindfulness and alertness. You focus on the breath, notice what the breath is doing, then you remember to stay here. That's the, that's the mindfulness part. The alertness is when you're watching what's actually happening. Is the breath good? If it's not, you can change it. Is the mind staying with the breath? If it's not, you can bring it right back. And while you're here, try to be as sensitive as possible to what it's doing. This is basically taking the good qualities you have in your mind, and you have to exercise them. It's like exercising your body. You've got muscles, but if you don't use them, they don't grow. They just atrophy. Same way with the good qualities of the mind. You've got to use them, put them to work. And if you put them to work, they develop so that you can use them wherever you go. It's not just that mindfulness and alertness are good while you're sitting here meditating. They're good all the time. So you want to develop them. In the meantime, as you're working with the breath, you're developing a good, good solid place for the mind to stay. You're developing a good food for the mind, feeding the mind well. This is something we have the choice to do. We tend to forget that. Whatever comes our way, we just pick up whatever is thrown at us. But you have to realize some things are thrown at you, and you have to learn how to adjust them and make them better before you, you eat them. Otherwise, you just keep on eating garbage. If other people criticize you, you have to ask yourself, well, what, what's good about the criticism? Maybe it's something true about yourself that you hadn't noticed. Maybe here's an opportunity for you to improve yourself. As the Buddha said, if someone points out your faults, they're actually pointing out a treasure to you, the, the opportunity to improve your habits. If what they say is false, then, then, you know, then you've learned something about them. And neither way should you get upset. You've, you've learned something. It's important that you learn these lessons. So when the mind is in good shape like this, when you know how to take whatever comes your way and turn it into good food for the mind, the mind gets stronger. When it gets stronger, then it's more likely to be able to do the things you know are right. And we know that greed is bad, anger is bad, delusion is bad, and yet we keep going for it. Why is that? We've, that's something we've got to figure out. And the best way to figure it out is to feed the mind well, to give it the strength so it can really look into things and understand, okay, when greed comes, why is it so easy to fall in with the greed? What are its deceits? What are the ways you fall for it? The same with anger, the same with delusion. You've got to learn how to watch these things, and to watch them and not give in to them, the mind has to be strong. You've got to develop all of its good qualities by putting them to use. And so when the mind is well fed like this, then the, the life you shape for yourself is going to be a well-shaped life. Because you think about it, the fact that you're a human being right now, that's a, that's a result of your past karma in a previous lifetime. If you hadn't done some good, you wouldn't be here. You'd be down around the dogs and the cats and who knows what. But here you are among the human beings. So you've got some good to you. Now what are you going to do with that goodness? Because you've got to shape your future. And the acts you do are kind of like magnets. They pull you in a particular direction. If you do unskillful things, they pull you into the direction of suffering. If you do skillful things, they pull you into the direction of happiness. So which way do you want to go? It's up to you what you're going to build, what you're going to create for yourself right now, through your thoughts, through your words, through your deeds. So try to train the mind, all the good qualities of the mind that need strengthening. Bring them to bear here on the breath. Your alertness, your mindfulness, your attention, your desire to do things right. And that's what's going to see you through. That's what's going to create a good world for yourself, here in this present lifetime and on into future lifetimes. So remember, you have this power, you have this ability to create your life. You're doing it all the time. The question is, are you going to do it skillfully or not? If you want to do it skillfully, you've got to train the mind. And this is where you begin, what? focusing on the breath, staying with the breath, allowing the breath to be comfortable all the way in, all the way out, so you have a good foundation from which to base everything else. So keep these thoughts in mind.